Hi everyone, I hope you're all having a great week. This week I'm making a watercolor painting incorporating a quote I really love by Rumi. Using a grid helps me lay out my words in the proportions I want to use them for my painting. Since I intend to paint over the initial marks I'm making here, I'm using really light pencil strokes to make sure they won't be too hard to erase before I'm ready to start painting. Once I'm happy with my layout, I use a kneadable eraser, pressing it over the quote I just wrote in to remove most of the charcoal from the pencil marks. I don't want to erase the words I just wrote in completely because eventually I'll want to trace over them with some ink. Once I'm done with a kneadable eraser, I use a regular eraser to erase the lines of the grid itself. I don't want any of those lines to remain because I don't want them showing through my paint. I like to tape down my paper using artist tape so that it doesn't buckle on me when I'm painting. After my base layer is dry, I start working on the design I have laid out in my head. Since nature is one of my greatest inspirations and I love gardening, I've decided I'm going to make some flowers this time. Usually I like to work with a reference photo, but in this case, I am just following my intuition and letting my heart be the guide. I started my flowers by using intense paint color to paint some small irregular shaped circles and then using a wet brush I simply moved that paint color out to create some petals. Sometimes when I'm using a quote in a painting, I like to paint around the quote to frame it, but in this case, I'm not gonna do that. I want the quote to be incorporated in the painting, and so I'm painting over the lines. The beauty of watercolor is that it's very light, unless you use very thick, intense color, and I'll still be able to see my quote so that I can trace over it later. When I paint leaves, I usually like to incorporate more than one color so that they blend together. I find that it makes my leaves more interesting visually. The easiest way for me to blend colors here using watercolor paint is to make sure that the surface I'm painting is still wet. When the surface is wet, it's easy to blend other colors in. In this case here, I'm adding some gold to the wet paint and it's creating some really beautiful effects. Now I'm going to start adding another layer of colors to my flowers. As you can see, I'm using the same process I used to create my first layer. I'm going to use some purple to add some color to the center of my flowers. Now I'm using a smaller round brush to move some of that purple around into the petals of my flowers. 
Now I've decided to add some more of that peach cobbler color to the rest of my painting. Since some of my leaves and flowers are a bit wet, you'll see that the paint will move a bit, and I'm okay with that. I like the blurry effect that it'll create. While the surface is still wet, I'm going to add some splashes of gold. I really love gold and I find that it adds a really um, special effect to my paintings. I'm really happy with how this has turned out. So the next step of the process is for me to let this dry before I can add in my quote. Since there are some hints of blue in both my flowers and my leaves, I've decided to use a blue marker to outline my letters. The pencil outline I created for my letters earlier is pretty faint, but I can still see it well enough to trace them using my marker. An easy way to add more interest to hand lettering is to thicken the downward strokes. This creates what people call faux calligraphy. I really love this quote by Rumi, so I'll be putting this painting up in my art studio as a reminder to keep dreaming big and to keep working hard towards my goals. Oh my god, that shimmering gold is just so awesome. I really love it. Once again, it's been really fun to create this painting and I wanna thank you sincerely for joining me on this little creative journey of mine. Have a wonderful week and happy creating.